That's your creepiest, real life, story. When camping with some friends on hill a few kilometers out in the woods from one of the guy's house. There's a few hiking four-wheeling trails in the area that lead up to the hill, so it's known by the locals. It was about midnight we had a fire going, and we're just sitting around having a good time, then the guy, there was four of us, sitting opposite of me yells who are you. I turn around, and there's this man, about six feet tall staring at us from the edge of the woods with a big rock in his hand. One guy knocked an arrow in the compound bow we had, the guy across from me grabbed the hatchet, and I pulled the knife off my belt. We had no clue what we were doing, but the guy wouldn't say anything to us. He eventually just backed into the woods. No sleep was, had that night and we kept a very large fire going. I was at the Grand Canyon a few weeks ago, camping in a tent with some friends. Around 11 o'clock, I was still awake, but everyone else was asleep, and suddenly some women started screaming from what sounded like a few campsites over. They weren't joking around, or they were very good actors, they sounded terrified. They screamed for about 10 seconds, at first two or three of them then eventually just one. The screaming stopped, and I heard someone much closer to our tent start running, then a car door slammed, but the car never started. No one else woke up, and I was too scared to move, even to get my phone. I didn't fall asleep until the sun was coming up. In retrospect it was probably something like an elk really close to their tent as opposed to, you know, an axe murder, since this was a decently populated campground, and I didn't hear about any incidents after.